Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. Don't make a copy of the notary page and send in the notary page again. Let me explain to you. Okay, I got a question. Hi, Brandon. I bought your credit kit, but I have a question. Do I have to get each letter notarized individually, or can I make a copy of the notarized letter and attach it to all the letters? Please answer. All right. Sure, not a problem. I will answer. So, the idea is each individual letter, if, 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 if you're going to notarize it, it should have its own notary page. Now, when you take it into the notary, they put it in the book, and you came in, you presented this ID, driver's license, social, you usually put your thumbprint, all that good stuff, right? You sign for it, all that good stuff for that letter. Each time you notarize and put a notary in the, they have a notary book to notarize it, okay? So you don't want to notarize one letter, then make copies of it, and then send it out. It's going to confuse which letters were notarized, the dates won't start to match up, the notary won't match up. Aside from the certified letters that you probably be sending, right? Everybody's sending certified, yeah. Certified letters that you'd be sending, okay? They won't be matched up properly, and it'll make it much more challenging when you're have to have supporting documentation for whatever it is that you might need, okay? If they wanna play games, you have gotta go to court, you need to file complaints with the CFPB, it's good to have it properly notarized. So don't make copies and send them and get the true blue original notary every time if you're going to notarize, okay? It's a great question, I think it's excellent. I know some people wanna save money on that, so go to your local bank, credit union. Uh, some, some individuals have buddies, friends who do notary. Google it, look around, you can find a very affordable notary in your area, all right? Sometimes it's free with the local banks and credit unions, all right? Now, I have, this is a good question about medical collection, I have medical collection from our report, it's four years old, in the state of Texas, the statute of limitations is four years. How do I get them to remove this? Now, the statute of limitation for Texas is four years, meaning the collector cannot take you to court for that. They can't sue you for that. They can't come after the money. They can send you a letter and ask you to pay, but that's about it. So this is what we call the old zombie debt, the zombie debt, because it's still on the report, but they can't really collect on it. No one's really validated or verified it. You start sending your dispute letters to the collectors, to the bureaus. You can file your complaints. You can get this negative, nasty stuff off. You can do this yourself. 609creditrepair.com, or we can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com, all right? If this video helps you out, please give a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit that bell for notifications so the next time I go live. We're having a great time on the lives on the weekend. And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.